best friend welcome back to my channel girl listen it is raining mother nature is pissed but i don't know what the sun did the moon the water i don't know what they did to mother nature but mother nature said uh you want to play with me girl rain you want to play with me girl mini hurricane you want to play with me girl fucking uh the lights electricity goes out bitch i'm in an island if you guys didn't know i'm in Colombia visiting my family and I'm trying to show you guys the scenery, but today is not working, so we have to be in the room. Uh, but best friend, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Sebastian, and I welcome you all with open arms. I spill pop culture tea every day, and I'm your new favorite cheese mosa, okay, bitch? Listen, bitch, we gotta talk. So, Ashanti, uh, always there when you call, always on time, gave you my... Baby, be mine. Ashanti, Ashanti, honey. Um, so Ashanti and J Lo have been, you know, in a, in a lot of controversy. Well, you know, so much J Lo dragged Ashanti by, you know, being shady into the controversy. And you guys have asked me to, you know, talk about, you know, the Ashanti and the I'm real uh, situation and J-Lo situation and vocal situation, all this. So I, I gathered some clips for you guys so we can, you know, just consider this sort of like a class. Like you have your pop culture class. You know what, bitch? I'm ready to go to Harvard. I am ready to go to Harvard and make a speech and I'm ready to wear that gown, honey. And I'm ready to accept all those apples. Cause you know, is it true that uh, teachers get apples? But, or is that a movie thing? Cause I don't remember ever giving an apple to my teachers. I do remember I would always give them little apple pies uh, from Publix. It's a grocery store. I would always give them apple pies and cookies. And you know, um, when you're a kid, you get free cookies cookies in Publix. So what I would do is I would actually, every time I'd go to Publix, I would get a free cookie and I would save it. And then after a week, right? Um, or like whatever, like let's say as when I had like a good stack of cookies, I would give it to my teachers. So yeah, I do remember that, but I still failed seventh grade, best friend. Still failed seventh grade. But anyways, girl. Um, so Ashanti. So Ashanti. Um, you know, Jennifer Lopez, she's getting called out quite a lot. You know, we already talked about her uh, background singer who did um, Jenny from the Block. And we talked about it. She actually wrote uh, to me and she said that she really loved the video and how I, um, you know, talked about her and stuff. So that was really, really cool. Um, but, you know, we have now talked about Ashanti. So I gathered some clips for you. So take a look at this, best friend. I wrote a song for her and I also referenced I'm Real for her and they left my background vocals on the record. And people, they say, you know, are you the ghost voice for, <laughs> you heard that? Yes, I heard that. <laughs> but, um, I mean, I referenced the record for her, which is, you know, done a lot in the music industry and they left my background vocals on there, so. And that's the end of it, you're not the ghost <laughs> voice, right? No. J-Lo's I'm Real. Mm -hmm. When you said, you wrote that, right? No, Ja wrote ja I'm Real. <laughs> And I wrote it so, you know, it's it's kind of personal. So here's what happened. So I wrote I'm Real. Okay. For Jennifer Lopez. I sung the original version of it as a Demo. reference. Okay. But I sound terrible, of course, on the reference. So Ashanti then sung the reference for Jennifer Lopez. Okay. Now, are, did you sing the reference to it? Because I hear yeah. you all over the song. Yeah. And I'm just like, why didn't they take Ashanti off the song? Because <laughs> I feel like you sang the whole song. Well, I demoed the record for her. That was way, way back. That was before I was signed mm -hmm. to Murder, Inc. Um, and they kept my hook. And, you know, they kept some of the backgrounds and ad-libs and stuff like that. Whenever you write something, you're just a little more connected to it. Uh, when they mixed down the record, Irv left some of the vocals underneath. Oh. Ah, so, so so Ashanti does appear on so the she song. Has, she has some vocals underneath. But I was so mad at Irv because I was like, you know, I wanted that record. <laughs> but I, I was I was happy at the same time because it was J Lo. I feel like I have grown. Not only musically was there growth and vocally, but also emotionally and then spiritually as a person, I've grown. Yeah, I see. Yeah, it's a little confusion. I no, get it. Okay. I get it. But 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 you would have to ask. It Irv seems pretty 100. cleared up now. No, you would have no. to ask Irv 100 percent if he left the vocals actually underneath the bed of. So, yeah. J Lo is nothing but a shanty in a wig. You heard it here first. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. So when I go to the studios like four in the morning, they play What's Love and you on it, and they was telling me they wanted J Lo to do it, 
And I was like, yo, J-Lo, I said, this is the girl we use at Pun. I said, she sound amazing on here. And they was like, yeah, but we want the Latino, you know. And I was like, nah, we leaving her there. And, um, and that's how that went down. Yo, do you know I never knew that? No, it's a fact. Yo, I'm not lying oh to you. Oh my God, yo, this, he stayed pulling records or trying to pull records from me. No, yo. no, stop, stop. We not. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> what the? Honestly, I'm excited to see JLo. You know, I think it's amazing Another that veteran. she's getting honored tonight. Um, hopefully, she'll be performing one of the songs I wrote for her. Uh oh. You know. Woo! I should be with the pet, ladies and gentlemen. I, my producer's telling me, don't yeah, let her talk anymore. Oh, we will give out more, so uh, we're going to throw it down the carpet and see what's going on. So here is a prime example. There are a couple of people, in my opinion, that deserved so much more fame and that are so... Uh, what is that thing called? Underestimated? No. Um, I, what is that? You know the word I'm trying to find. Um, underappreciated? No. What's that word, best friend? Underprimed? under under something bitch under something you know under whatever bitch you know what i'm talking about who who should be more you know famous like uh ashanti maya do you guys remember maya she was fucking amazing i love maya i wish monica and brandy would be more you know the r&b ladies that i i love r&b i love r&b and those are my favorite r&b ladies and I feel like they should be more, you know, more loved and given more flowers for their contribution to, you know, wonderful songs, you know what I mean? And like R&B and stuff. And Ashanti should definitely be given a lot more contribution. Um, so the background vocals, you guys heard it from her mouth, you know. Um, J-Lo fans still claim that, you know, this is something that happens all the time. Now, one thing that I found it so incredibly crazy is how they kind of cut her out of the video when she's like the one who like, you know, wrote the song and she sang on the song and all these things. And she, you know, of course, J-Lo gets accused of, you know, leaving her vocals and not giving her enough credit. You know, I think that in this industry of music and just Hollywood in general, I think that you know, sharks constantly win. Do you know what I mean? I do think that sharks constantly win. I think when you have money, when you have power, I think that you can basically get away with anything in Hollywood. And I will tell you this, best friend, you know, I think that Ashanti has has been very polite. I think she's been very nice because, you know, I to be very, and she's pregnant now with Nelly. Hello, Nelly. Um, that was so cute. Do you guys remember when his <laughs> got leaked? Do you guys remember that? He literally, what, he, I think it was, it, it was Nelly. He posted it on his Instagram stories by accident. His, mm -hmm, his, his getting hot in her, his getting hot in here. Okay. He posted that on his Instagram stories, bitch. I was like, okay, girl. Congratulations, Nelly. <laughs> okay. It is getting hot in here. <laughs> so take off all your clothes. I am getting so hot. My clothes, off. like him, Nelly. He's so fucking talented. You know, there's so many artists that I feel like should be given more opportunities to be more. You know, like just bigger. You know what I mean? I love Maya. Actually, I saw Maya in a in a Sally's Beauty, and I said, and I um, she was waiting in line to buy something, and then she was coming out, and I was like coming in or something, and I was like, Maya, and she goes, hi, like really soft, and I was like, I love you, and she goes, thank you. And then she just walked out. So, so beautiful in person, best friend. That's why I love Los Angeles. Like, you never know who. But my husband, girl, listen. He says that I'm the worst at, like, uh, pointing people out. I would, so, listen, so many celebrities that I feel like I've seen, right? And I'm like, oh, my God. And I, I, his name is, you know, Andrew, uh, Andy, Andres, whatever. He said, oh, Andres? Is that Tyra Banks? That's Tyra Banks. Andres, that's Tyra Banks. He goes, Sebastian, no, that's not Tyra Banks. That's a 50-year-old Italian, whatever. Like, you know, I mix people up all the time. Like, one time, I swear, I thought I saw Dula Pipa. Dula Pipa. Dula Pipa. Dula, Dula Lipa. Was not Dula Lipa. Best friend, listen. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's in my prescription, my glasses. But I feel like I see people. But then they're not really there, best friend. I think I should get that checked, best friend. Because, like, my Optima Pino, whatever the fuck it's called, bitch. Um, girl, I don't know what the fuck is, what, what is going on in this video. But listen, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. 
I feel like JLo should definitely give Ashanti some more credit. I think that she should she should stop bothering with that shit. I feel like take all the back. I would, listen, this is not Ursula and Ariel, bitch, okay? I would take my vocals back, bitch. I'd be like, nope, ha <laughs> no. Ah, 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 you try, bitch, okay? Poor, unfortunate soul. Seriously, bitch, girl, absolutely. Can't try it? No, mm -mm. No, all right. Um, girl, you know, lately I've been talking about King Trident, right? The other night I had a really inappropriate dream with King Trident, bitch. I could have been Ariel's stepmother. I would have grounded that bitch. You are 15 years old. You are fi I would let her keep her cave and her little thingamabobs, but the bitch is staying in the ocean. The bitch is staying in the ocean, okay? You are 15 years old. What the hell are you doing with Prince Eric? You, you met him one time, one time, okay? And you saved his ass and now you want to give up your whole life and family and fans, your heritage, and go into the fucking land with Eric? Abs you ungrateful fucking bitch. We give you a whole ass fucking cave for you to collect all your fucking, because you are a hoarder on top of everything. You are a family leaving, you know, uh, kissing on the first date hoarder, okay? Who you go to Ursula, who betrayed your fucking father and you don't give a damn about your father's enemies. You leave your fucking sisters to take care of, you know, what about your Sebastian and Flounder? What about your two best friends? Sebastian and Flounder have to follow your fucking curious ass all over the damn ocean, potentially getting almost eaten by a damn shark, and you want to fucking leave all of that behind because of a man you met once? You are 15 years old. You better fucking sit down, go to fucking school, or I'm going to fucking ground your ass, okay? And, and and you better get bigger seashells. You better stop showing the fucking tummy so much, okay? I would fucking have her marching, bitch. Anyways, girl, I gotta go. This is way too much. Listen, what do we think about Ashanti? Ashanti better get more credit. And you know what? When she pops out that baby girl, I want her to come out with a real fucking good talk. I don't know why it's so hard for like people who've had hits like in the 90s or 2000s to, to be able to like come back with like a huge hit. Like I love Mandy Moore. I love TLC. I love, you know, there's so many artists from the 90s, you know? Like I, I said, Brandy Monica, I'm very into R&B. Um, but you know, so many, so many incredible artists that 90s, 2000s that like just went away who cannot, or they're still here, but just sing their, pat, you know, their older songs. Like look, Christina Aguilera, she's on tour. She hasn't had a new song in a hot minute. Like, you know, where is the new music from these people? And why can't they get fucking successful again? Anyways, girl, I gotta go. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.